So today, Electropages is here at Munich Electronica 2022, and I'm joined by... Peter Komeski from Cambridge GAN Devices. Fantastic. It's great to have you, by the way. Thanks nice for being here. So, my first question for you is to tell the audience what it is that your company does and a bit about your history. Sure, okay. So, we're, we're a fabulous design company based in, in Cambridge, UK. We were established in 2016. Uh, very, very quickly went through our A phase funding. Uh, B phase funding has, has recently been announced. So, in the last weeks, the, the B phase funding was announced. Uh, earlier in 22, we released our first parts. So, you can visit our, our, our website. Uh, soon we're going to make an announcement in terms of distributor uh, availability, so the parts are going to be widely available then. We've got four, uh, four part numbers, all 650 volt parts, and with various RDS on levels ranging from 55 million up to 240 million. So you're, you're quite a new company then, you really have just sort of come out of the ground. Uh, absolutely, yeah, I mean, we've, you know, we've, we've been... Obviously, you know, we still have very close links with Cambridge University. Ah, yes, of course. And our, our two founders um, came from Cambridge University. Our uh, CTO is, is currently a professor at Cambridge University. So we've got a lot of pedigree there. Uh, a lot of our engineering team have come out, out of Cambridge. Um, but we are a new company. And, um, you, know, we, you know, we feel we, you know, we are offering a very a, a, a new device, um, a, a new GAN device which has unique features. Initially, we're targeting the consumer field, consumer area, so chargers, uh, uh, gaming power supplies, that that kind of product. Yeah. Uh, and then, as we move forward into industrial and data centres, so it would be fair to say that your company it, it's it's cutting edge technology, headed by cutting edge researchers. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Oh, it's very, very very nice summary. Yeah. 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 yeah you, hope, you hope so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's brilliant. So. Um, in, in terms of the, the devices that you produce, this is all, is it, is it, is it GAN, so it's all like um, high, high voltage uh, semiconductors. Yes. Now, there are other companies out there also doing these types of devices, so what is it that your company does that differentiates it from others? Okay, well, first, first of all, on, on, onto the name of our product. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, it's called ISGAN, so it's Integrated Circuit EGAN. So first of all, on, on the EGAN side, it's a naturally off GAN. So, you know, that, that, that's what most engineers like, like myself. Oh, you, you, mean, know, like, you, mean, like, you mean like NMOS types? So it's, it's like, it's all, all normally off, sorry. It's norm, normally off. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, you know, so, some of the, the earlier, earlier GAN variants were, were more um, depletion mode and normally on. So our, oh, ours, right. ours is, a, is a normally off GAN and the integrated circuit part, we are monolithically integrating a number of features onto our, our GAN device that essentially broaden the uh, VGS range. So typically GAN is zero to six volts right, input. Right. So the v VGS, um, our, our, our VGS is zero to 20 volts. So that's a much bigger range. Much, 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 more, much wider range. Um, makes it compatible with a lot of existing MOSFET drivers, a lot of well-proven MOSFET drivers. And we're also increasing the threshold voltage from typically around 1.5 volts with normal GAN up to around three volts for ice GAN. So that, that's our first key feature, really. Yeah. Our, our second is very much linked to that. As well as broadening the VGS range, we have a, an inbuilt Miller clamp, which, is, which really pulls down our internal gate to, to improve our resistance, in, uh, reduce our susceptibility to external DVD-T. So with, with fast switching devices like GAN and uh, silicon carbide, you can inadvertently generate a lot of high DVD-T waveforms. Um, you, you really want devices to have some kind of inner resistance or immunity to that. Our, our, our device has this Miller clamp that pulls the gate hard down, which means it, it's very difficult to, to, to drive it on when it should be off. So, so just to make sure I understand that, you, you talk about the, the, the high DVD-T. Is that, is that in terms of the, the speed at which you're switching off the device, or is that in terms of the, the rate at which the voltage is coming down? Well, both really. So right. our, you know, our, our device, most, most GAN devices, silicon carbide devices, are going to switch very, very quickly. Yeah. So the, the rise and fall times are, are usually single digit nanoseconds. Right. And as we're switching very high voltages over a very short time, that, that can create noise problems. Oh, you get so, ringing and stuff, for example. Yeah, you can get, you get ringing, ah, yes. but I think, you know, certainly if you've got devices in what's called a bridge configuration, mm. what, what you can have is what's called a shoot-through event, and you, you, know, you can end up damaging devices. 
So that, that's where our, our Miller clamp comes in to make sure our device is robust um, in high DVDT GAN environments. So that's our second USB. And, yes. our, and our third is, is an inbuilt current uh, sense. So that, that really forms the integrated circuit part or the, the ice in the ice gap. Current sense. So, so, you've, so you've, it's not just a GAN uh, transistor on its own. It's, it's also other additional integrated components that yeah. help to work with that. Yeah, so, so, so we have additional hemp. So, so our device is a high electron mobility transistor. Right. Uh, we, we've integrated additional hemp, uh, one for the Miller clamp and, yep. and an additional one for the current sense. Right. So that gives us um, a um, divide by 500 output. Um, on our current sense. So, for instance, on, on the drain, for a drain current of one amp, we would have a five hundredths of an amp yeah. on our, on our um, current sense output. You feed that current into a, a, a resistor, drop a voltage across it, and that's going to be proportional to your drain current. That's absolutely brilliant. So, um, so, so is this technology like a, is it, is it like a silicon base, which you then integrate the uh, GAN on top, or is it something that's more like modular, more like a modular, module, it, it, it is not a co-pack, it, it is a, a pure GAN device. A pure, so, yeah, so the so current the, sense is a pure GAN? It, it, it is built oh, into right. GAN, oh, right. so, so yeah. it, it is monolithically integrated, it's a, it's a single chip, of course, and, yes, and yes. the kind of features I'm talking about, the, the, the integrated circuit part is in GAN, and that's what, that's what we're offering that's very unique, and um, you know, we feel it's much more robust than integrating a, a separate silicon device, yeah. it's all on GAN. So, so a lot because you look if you look at a lot of like silicon carbide devices they tend to just be the, the, the device itself it's not, there's no other bits sort of you get yeah. with it but with your what you're basically saying is that if you go for one of these devices you're getting a lot more in that package than just exactly. just the transistor exactly and, and 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 these are our first parts yeah. so I've, our, our first four part numbers are are are, are all with iScan iScan's a very scalable technology so we're going to scale that um, up in terms of um, a higher power devices moving right. forward. So our, our roadmap um, has higher power devices, so we're going to be going into higher power applications. Uh, and then we're also going to be moving forward adding new features, all of them monolithically integrated onto GAN, yeah. which is a, a, a significant differentiator for Cambridge GAN devices. Brilliant. So um, in terms of the voltage ratings, everyone always talks about high voltage, low voltage, but they, they seem to have their own standards of what that means. What, what is high voltage to you? And would you say your devices are aimed at high voltage applications? Yeah, yeah. Good, good question. I mean, I mean, I mean really, <laughs> Everyone's different. If, if you say high, high, high voltage, yeah, what, what, what do you what really is mean? It? Um, I mean for, for, for us, our, our devices are 650 volt rated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we are, we're, we're targeting, at, at the moment, you know, consumer and we're moving into industrial. Yeah. Uh, we've also got our sights on automotive. So uh, a lot of the automotive questions are about uh, 1.2 kilovolts. You know, can your devices you know, cope with that? Well, our data sheet says 650 volts, so no, we can't. Right. We are testing them at higher, higher voltages. And, and at the moment, we'd, we'd certainly um, uh, propose for some of the automotive topologies, onboard chargers, those kind of products to look at multi-level inverters, uh, multi-level topologies to, to 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 create a product that's compliant with 1200 volt. And, and it's interesting because the EV battery sizes are going up, and of course, you, if you increase the voltage, you decrease the current, you decrease yeah. the current, you reduce the energy loss. So I take it that um, GAN devices tend to target high efficiency applications as well. Yes. Yeah. I mean, certainly one one of the key differentiators for for GAN over silicon is improving efficiency, yeah. uh, but also um, improving power density. Yeah. So as we're taking the, the efficiency up, and of course that varies across different topologies, but we're, we're now pushing the you know, 98, 99% efficiency. Uh, we're also able to- That's, to, that's really, uh, that's yeah, something impressive. Yeah. yeah, we're also Driving. able to switch much faster and then reduce course, the size yeah. of peripheral components. So we have got an example yes, here. I was about to ask you actually what this is. <laughs> yes, it looks really great. So, yeah. so this is a, 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 a 65 watt power supply. And, and, and this is still in development. We're still able yeah. to optimize it further. But you know, traditionally, you are looking at, uh, traditional devices have a much larger volume, much, much larger package space. Yeah. So here we've uh, incorporated ice GAN, uh, in, uh, utilizing a number of the features I've just talked about. Yeah. 
Um, one of them, though, allows us, the current sense, allows us to get much uh, better or lower the, the thermal resistance and get heat out much better. Yeah. So that we're able to use a, a smaller device for the same current rating for the same temperature rise. So that, so iScan has really enabled what is kind of industry leading uh, package size. So here we're around the 27 watts a cubic inch and we're still developing it to further uh, so, you, so further increase that. So if this device here, uh, this power supply, was, was to be built using standard silicon, how much bigger would it be, do you think? That's, that's a difficult question. <laughs> I mean, I think um, certainly the, the, the efficiencies uh, wouldn't be anywhere near this, what, this, this device. Yeah. Um, and the peripheral components would be a lot larger. But, I, I, yeah, I'm, afraid I, I'm not sure I can quantify it now. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen a lot of people where they, they uh, silicon carbide, GAN, they tend to get two, sometimes two to three, and even sometimes five times sort of package shrinking because yes. of the fact that you get because if if you've got uh, if you've got a greater efficiency, you've got less heat dissipation, which means you can use a smaller heat sink, so exactly you can reduce the size and the weight of, of, of the products. Yeah. So uh, just a quick question: Is this a mains to USB device you've got here? Because it is. Yeah. So yeah. so it's uh, uh, 90 volts to 265 volts AC in, and 20 yeah. volts out, and th this has an onboard. Uh, USB controller, USB PD, and, and that handles the intelligent voltage oh, switching. Oh, like fast charging. And, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, I, and you also mentioned about the high frequency. So um, that also helps with, uh, I, I take it helps with smaller capacitors, smaller transformers, smaller. Absolutely. And so again, so the, the GAN device is not just providing you with more efficiency, it's allowing everything around that device to also shrink. Yes, yeah. yeah. So yeah, many of your passive components um, um, should really be, be redesigned around GAN. I mean, we can put our, our device, it's very, very easy to put in particular our device into a silicon, existing silicon design because our, our, our input range is the same. Um, but that's not going to help. The engineer should and, really and, redesign it. And it's going to give you some immediate improvements. Yeah. However, to get the best yeah. out of GAN, and, 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 and also to optimize your power density to the levels that you the, can achieve by yeah. having GAN on board, you should really look at the other peripheral components, particularly the passives, like the capacitors, yeah. inductors, transformer. Now, uh, over there, you've got a uh, rather interesting uh, smart city display. Could you go through a little bit what, what's actually going down there? Sure, yeah. So what, what we're showing here is a CGD City 2050, right. which is really looking forward to, to 2050 when, when we can reach net zero um, emissions. So we are, we've, got, we've got a countdown over there, really showing the overall global energy consumption. Yeah. And as a consequence of a, a, all of our devices' um, inherent efficiencies, the overall losses that that, that 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 contributes to. So that that is um, an opportunity for us. That is essentially free energy. That if we uh, better, if we use more efficient electronics, is fair game for us, right? So yeah. actually, that that is energy that could be much better utilised. Yeah. So what what we're showing here is is just a, a, a quite a simple snapshot of uh, simple examples of. Uh, or everyday um, um, applications of uh, phone chargers, laptop chargers, uh, gaming machines, and, and even data centers, and about how you can add GAN into each of these particular products, each of these applications, and, and see uh, significant improvements in terms of efficiency. And, and, and essentially, you know, these components, plus others, will bring down overall you know, global energy consumption. Yeah. That's what it's all about. So let's suppose that engineers out there want to go ahead and get straight into these devices. Yeah. What is it that you would recommend that those engineers do and how can they get in contact with you guys for some new devices? Okay, um, firstly, if you, know, if you can contact us via our, our, our website, yep. uh, we, we have um, all devices available now. Yep. So, so all, all the, the uh, existing RDS on um, uh, values in, in two different packages. Um, we're about to, to announce a deal with a major distributor. Um, so I think in the next few days, uh, it'll become even easier to get hold of parts. Um, but, but currently, just, just approach us on our, on our website. We can provide uh, sample parts. We can provide uh, sample hardware, evaluation hardware, reference designs, um, white papers, evaluation, um, 
sorry, application notes, yeah. user guides, really to help engineers um, learn or know more about our, our devices and also how to integrate them into existing designs, future designs. And there's no way you're going to give us a bit of a hint who it might be, the distributor. You, you definitely know them. <laughs> and uh, yes. Right, but, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic, and thank you ever so much for taking the yeah. time here today, Electronica. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming in to see us. Thank Cheers. You.